As y'all can see, Lynette has gone into surgery. Got at least a minimum of five hours. Look who found a spot to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> this time on, I'm used to sleeping. I'm we'll, get up until 12 o'clock in, in, in the afternoon. It would be nice to find a, a real bed, wouldn't it? Right. <laughs> It got her all set up yeah. in her platinum bubble. It looked like it feel good. Oh, okay. Oh, it's more heat in there. Yeah, it's more heat in here. Oh, man. Put your arm in here. Oh, yeah. Let's oh. get an order, one of, order you one of these from Amazon. Could I, could I take it home? And then Mama out there, she got out there and got the guests out there making her coffee. So, how you feel now? Just ready to get it over. You nervous? I'm nervous. But they're so good. They brought a lot of that down. They real good. Prayers being answered. Said the doctor comes in. Say he prays with you. And ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be the doctor that's gonna be taking care of my wife. No autographs, please. Say no autographs. <laughs> All right, so I just got an update. Um, they said she's actually still in surgery. It's been about an hour and 45 minutes so far, but they said she is doing good. All right, fam, I wanted to share this email that my wife sent me as a pre-message so I could get it while she was in surgery. Man, this uh, email here touched my heart. Man, my baby is so thoughtful, and she was just still thinking about me even though she was going through this. And the email says, Oh wow. Yeah, she a trooper. Oh yeah, she is. Yeah. Now we're all the way down to the end of the road. All right. All the way down. And you made it to the other side. Okay. How you feel? Oh, yeah, the nurse told us that you did better than people who get less. But I told her you had a slew of people praying for you, though. Oh yeah. But I don't think the cut is as bad as it could have been. So, I haven't seen it yet. But I feel pretty good. All right, so the nurse just got her up. Go and um, try to take a pee pee. We should be leaving within the next half hour to an hour. She's gonna give her some more medicine. Um, but when she stood up, she was like, I can tell I've been cut. But my baby a trooper. I know that the healing is gonna be quick. Thank God that it's over with. All right, fam, so we fitting to get ready to go home now. The nurse is um, getting her all dressed, so I'm in the car now, so I can go ahead and pull around the roundabout so they can go wheel her out, and we can go home. So thank God for that, that we didn't have to stay at this hospital overnight, because we won't gonna get no sleep. So uh, hopefully she should be out here really soon. There she go, y'all. My baby, I'm gonna go take her home now. I'm back yeah. as she is ever. That's that's cool. You just got out of surgery, Mike. I'm go home ahead. way earlier than I thought. Yeah, I won't expect to get home around about five, six o'clock this evening. And I got cut, and I'm still going home. Yeah, it's uh, it's two o'clock. So on the dot. On the dot. So let's go ahead and get you home, Mike. 
well y'all it has been probably about two hours not even two hours since i've been home um the soreness is real but i'm just grateful to be home um grateful that it seems like everything is on the up and up good morning fam it is saturday and this is the day after lynette's surgery so we're up it's about uh, 9 13 so i'm get ready to fix some well started cooking some breakfast because she's hungry uh we're hoping today that she can really eat because yesterday she was trying to eat but because they put the tube down her throat it was hard for her to swallow so i'm making some oatmeal some scrambled eggs with cheese and some of her uh sausage let me hit you here from her on how she feeling this morning Whoop, there she go <laughs> i feel better than i can expect to feel i didn't expect to feel this good am i good good no but i'm very sore but as far as pain i haven't had any pain at all and I haven't taken any of the narcotic they gave me. I'm just doing the Tylenol and the ibuprofen um, switcheroo, as they told me. And they told me if I kept up with that, then the likelihood of me needing the narcotic will be very low. Yeah. And if I do, it will be more of a, I need something to put me to sleep and rest me all night. Yeah. But I didn't even have to do that last night. And in my mind, if I can get over today without having to do it, yeah. And I pretty much ain't gonna need it. Mm -hmm. But you know, day two is is usually the day. Yeah, that's when and, all the medicine wear off yeah, and you feel it's everything. Real. It's real. The soreness is real. The gas pain, that O2 gas is up in here. And they was like, the only way to work it out is just to be up and about. So I'm trying to do that. But like my husband said, his throat, this throat though, we're gonna have to get this in check because my stomach might be on flat, flat before I need it to be on flat. flat. <laughs> But I thank you all for always being supportive of me. We had so many messages yesterday. Yeah, um, man. Some of you all, we probably just couldn't even get to answer. So we'll do like a blanket post on Instagram or something like that. But I thank you all. Y'all have been so concerned about your little, your little cousin, your little sis, your niece. And I appreciate it. I really do. This was a very hard decision for me to make. Yeah. And I had to make it, though. It's, it's a thing. I just had to make it. And I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm telling y'all, this stuff is the bomb, man. If y'all want to see me uh, clean some more stuff with this, just let me know and I'll drop a video. And maybe we can start a freaking segment on that channel called Cleaning with Stanley. And of course, if you like that idea, go ahead and drop in the comments. Be like, yeah, let's start that cleaning segment with Stanley. And I will go through the house and when I clean, I will bring y'all along and show you my little tips and tricks and secrets to getting stuff clean. Hey fam, Lynette got another box. <laughs> Let me go and get her a knife so she can crack it open. Boom, there you go. We have no idea what this is. Let's go and show you how much stuff we order from Amazon, man. What the hell? Did you send something? This is cute. I don't know where it comes from though. Hold on. Yeah, that's cool. Huh. A healing blanket. Oh, this is awesome. Now where did it come from? Yeah. I know I hadn't ordered anything. Enjoy your gift in place of the hug. I wish I could give you right now, knowing that you are very loved and thought of, and we're wishing you a speedy recovery from Treva Moa. Hey! Oh, my cousin! Oh! Oh! That's my baby. Hey! Thank you, Tree Tree. Oh, that's right. Let's go and put it on. Let's open it and put it on. There it is, folks. That's a nice blanket, man. It is so comfortable. I love all the sayings they have on it. Strength, Over. carriage. Recovery. High. <laughs> that mean you're going to be high on the medicine? Could be. Joy, Be beautiful, healing. Beauty, healing. Beauty, healing through what? Through posit positive attitude. attitude. Oh, I like that. Um, energy, happiness. Harmony, belief. 
Oh, so they got all the powerful healing words they on do. here. They do. This is awesome. I love oh, this. Oh, I like that. You got um, health, recovery. Oh, it's high spirits. High. Not being high, high spirits. And what's this one? And family. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. So that's that, those are powerful affirmations, man. You know how we about affirmations. Yeah, buddy. But I'm gonna tell you a lot that goes into your healing has to do with this right here. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you what. After I cried yesterday, I cried before we left the house. But then when I got in to have my um, briefing with the surgeon, the nurse said, "You're gonna be really happy when he comes in here." And I didn't really know what she was talking about because she said he does something that no other surgeon in here does. When he came in there and he said, I don't know what your faith is and I don't want to offend you, but can I pray before we go back? And I was like, wow, I ain't never yeah, had, man. you know, I haven't been through surgeries, but I've been through a surgeon or two and you barely even see the surgeon. He came out, he didn't even have his scrubs on yet. He had his regular clothes on and he prayed over himself. He prayed over me. He prayed over my family. And I was like, as soon as he said that, I was just and when they wheeled me back, they was like, oh, we got out and it's contested. Let's go party now. <laughs> so their attitude made me feel much better because yeah. I'm a careful Took all the seriousness of, out yeah, of it. Yeah, and but that anesthesiologist, she got me out. Yes. She they put, always be tricky, though. They do, and I think I'll know the tactic every time, and I don't. Because this time, she said, well, let me go ahead and put the oxygen on you, and I'll let you know when I change it over. I'm still waiting for her to change it over. <laughs> Cause all I know is she put the mask on and I breathed in one time and everything started going like this. <laughs> <laughs> and when I woke up, the nurse was in my face. She was like, you did excellent. They say you have a cut, but you did excellent. E I said, I have a cut. And then he came and talked to me too. Can't tell you half of what he told me, but he came in and he talked to me too. And he said, yeah, I had to cut you. He said, it was too big to come out. Yep. I said, well, you already warned me it was a possibility. So yep. I couldn't even be mad about it. Indeed. But y'all, my uterus was in my diaphragm. Yeah, way up there. Way up here. I knew it was high, but I didn't know it was all the way up here. He said, do you have trouble breathing sometimes? I said, yeah. It's okay. That's why. All right, fam. We got a pleasant surprise. You remember. <laughs> you, you guys remember her. Y'all remember Randy, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> That's her signature move. Now, she got a mask on. It ain't because she got a coronavirus or anything like that. She just getting over a cold. But she came to show some support and she brought some stuff for Lynette. She got a whole bag of stuff. Look at, look at, I mean. And I got some Girl Scout cookies. Look at all this stuff that she brought. This is steel cut. It's gonna get you nice and ready. Ooh, girl. 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 Oh, jump sweet. Yes, let me do it. Got us some steel right. cuts. I mean, yeah. all kinds of stuff. Girl Scout cookies, <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Tori. <laughs> Girl Scout, I mean, man. Have you had this? Some <laughs> strawberries, some some grapes, some cinnamon coffee cake. Yes. Some um, some kale. Some southern know, truck. Right? Yeah. What's that right there? Um. So this is some chicken breast, grilled chicken oh, breast. Oh man, look at that, y'all. Pulled chicken. Yeah, got to some, make it a little easier. Oh, some of that champagne pear. And got us some seasonings, man. Well, not us, Lynette. <laughs> Bought a nice little flower here too. I love that. That's nice. Is it real? Yes, it's real. Uh oh. Come on now. Come on now. Got some beauty supplies. Got some um. Just some don't soap. Coconut like butter. Ooh, All right, y'all a family right now. Oh. Stop it! Don't do that. So I'm in here cleaning out this bathroom in here. And here she come, oh gosh, the boo-boo. Because she's been backed up for the last two days because of the not. surgery. I've been backed up for one day. A, a day and a half. One day. Well, it don't matter. Your pipe's been stuck. <laughs> and she, oh. Thank you, Randy, for the grapes. And that's what did it. So she decided to want to come in here and mess up my flow. Stan, don't act like you don't come in here every time I'm in here doing this. It's cool. Get over Send help, y'all. Send help. 